Welcome to another Clubhouse Shorts. In this video, I'm going to dive into, well, developing patches for the Befuckle Lich and essentially the OWL platform as a whole using Max Gen. So in a previous video, I showed you how we were able to develop our custom patches with pure data. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but now with Max Gen. Max Gen is a commercial product, um, so you either need to grab the well the free 30-day trial if you want to follow along, or you need to uh, buy the full product. Um, either one is fine with me. So uh, please uh, do as you do as you must. Um, however, I do ask everyone to create an account because you're going to need that account in order to unlock certain capabilities within Max Gen. So we are going to download and install that. After that, I'm going to ask everyone also to download the Owl Gen patches from GitHub and more specifically because there we have the dev default templates that we can use to, well, to base our patches on. So once you've done that and you've started Max, uh, you can actually just open the dev default. So I'm just going to open that straight away. So I've got that here. And here we have something that already resembles our uh, our lich, where you have your A uh, knob, B knob, C, D, your expression, which is of course not present on the lich, but we, you can use using MIDI. And you've got your uh, push button there as well. And then you've got your output going to data there as well. So. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did in Pure Data, and that is just to make a VCA or an, attenu an audio attenuator and just to prove you how easy it is to build these patches. So let's uh, dive in, shall we? So we've got this, and here we have the actual patch that we're going to change. So I've just double-clicked on the gen tilde there, and here we see how the input one is connected to out one in to out two. And what we want to do is we want to use the parameters from uh, from A and B as the attenuator input, of course. So first thing is I need to modify this and unlock it. And then I can drag this one to there and this one to there. Then I'm going to remove the connections between the first channel and the second channel. I'm just going to select the the line and press delete. And what we can then do is create a multiplication. So I'm just double clicking and just type in an asterisk. And from the well, I would always almost <laughs> want to call that uh, IntelliType or something like that. The autocomplete tells you what it, this is going to be doing. So I'm just going to drag the first one and you see how it snaps into place and to out there and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the second channel here we go there we go and there we go so that's how easy it is to build a patch uh, let's just uh, close this for now I'm just uh, going to save this store that and what you can then do is you can of course say well I want to uh, double check how it works so you can say well I want to uh... so we're just gonna grab another piece there first unlock this of course so we're just gonna type cycle and again we're gonna do a tilde 400 440 and we can connect this oh Something is wrong there. I need to place a space there. There you go. And I can connect this to input one and also one to input two. Connect that there as well. And now we're just gonna look it again. And we have sound. You hear that? So we've built our first patch in Max Gen. Uh, what we can then do is we can create a message box. So let's do that. I want to have a message box. 
there we go I'm gonna drag it there and I only want to say export code and connect that to there and then we can double click it oh if I look it again and we can now store it somewhere I'm just gonna store my patch on the desktop there we go so if we now look we're gonna have the C++ so the CPP file and the H file there ready to go what we can then do is once we have the CPP and the H file we can actually upload that to the rebel technology website so what we can then do is go into my patches you need to log in and you can create a patch let's call this Jesper demo 2 and you can then upload the files that you want so you only need to upload the CPP and the H file only those two you can ignore the uh, the folder there open them up and even though we have uploaded CPP and an H file you need to tell the website that it is a gen project that you're working on and once you've done that you can just click save and compile wait for a second zoom out for here wait until it's compiled here we go build successful close and we can now test it here from the website as well so I can say I want to do a, a synth oh start audio and we can automate that as well there you go so the only thing left now is to um, connect my lich and uh, give it give it a try right so uh, I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you how we do that again be right back so I've got the uh, lich connected and I've got my rack sitting at the ready so let's uh, connect to it and load it and store it in slot number 10 let's do that so now we should have a patch loaded in number 10 so let's uh, give it a try shall we so I'm just gonna grab an audio out from the owner let's just grab uh, something there we go and let's connect oh in the right one okay that's a VCA and that's a VCA so there you have it so without further ado let's just call this a great big success because oh, in a previous video I showed you how easy it is to do this with pure data right and now I showed you how easy it is to do this in max gen and I'm gonna try and do as much as possible to get the absolute most out of the lich uh, for as long as I have it and I hope you guys are with me for the uh, for the ride I enjoy doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed these videos uh, let me know with a thumbs up or a thumbs down um, other than that I hope to see you for my next video until then I would stay well please stay healthy stay safe and uh, see you then cheers